now let's add an updated game core to our Collector Vision Phoenix console. Now just like in the last video, we're going to use an SD card formatted to FAT32 in order to install the updated cores onto the Collector Vision Phoenix. Now we've already done the system core, so now we're going to do the ColecoVision and the Atari 2600 core now. So like in the last video, we go back over to Atari Age to the Collector Vision Phoenix release thread. We make sure we have the latest cores downloaded onto our SD card for the ColecoVision and the Atari 2600 console emulators. Once we get the cores and we put them on our SD card in the root directory, we then plug the SD card back into the Phoenix console and then do the up. And now we're going to install our Atari 2600 core. So we type number one, install core, and then we're going to select slot number two. Now, right now, you can see you have revision seven of the ColecoVision core installed right now. So now I'll install the new core off my SD card. So hit number two. And it's installing the new 2600 core. Do, 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 takes a while. I'm really looking forward to some other cores that Collector Vision comes out with. I'm be interested to see what other systems they're going to be adding to this uh, Phoenix console. I mean, it's really awesome. It's almost done. It's almost done. There we go. So there we go. So now I have the Revision 4 core for the Atari 2600. Yeah! Then make sure to hit the star button to get back out of this screen, to go back to the main screen, and then hit the star button again to exit out of the core update screen altogether. Now your Phoenix console is all updated and ready to go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.